Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Basham Yahshai, Basham Kakadash, double on us unto the elder apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, I uploaded a video, Edomite Pastor explains how the Heavenly Father doesn't love everybody, right? So I'm going to read the description box and I'm going to read the comment that I put up because this. This whole truth is a mystery. And what's happening right now is you have these Edomites that they're starting to realize that the Bible is not for them. And they know this. You know? But anyway, so by the way, if you see ads on this video, it's because these foul demons, they said that because this video has copyright in it, but it's still... You know, it doesn't affect me, but it says monetizing. Even though you're not in the YouTube partner program, ads may be what, what, what? ads may be shown on your video. The revenue from these ads is being used to pay the artists and copyright owners for permission to use their content. So and it's just this little small part over here, but doesn't matter. But you know, that's why I don't like to use videos with other people music and stuff like that. I don't like I don't like to use videos with music. Cuz it's stupid. It might not be your type of music, but I'm playing it in the background and it's distracting. This word should be the music, not some freaking music in the background. But then again, that's what you get when you take videos from other people and you upload them, but I already cut this video. But I didn't know that this would happen. So next time I know because uh, this video had some sort of rap music in the beginning. I cut that. But anyway. So it says here, but anyway. Since a lot of our people want to listen to these Edomites, let them listen to this clip right here. These Edomites nowadays are waking up to the truth in some form, way, or shape. But remember the pros and cons of Esau, his lies and his truths at the same time. They will not tell you which people he hates. <laughs> And which he loves, but in order to come to that conclusion, or to the conclusion that he loves some and hates others, then you must know at least that he hates some and loves others, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Da, 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 da. Esau is loved. <laughs> what the hell? The hell? Jacob is loved and Esau is hated. It's snake tongue devils. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Prevent meaning to come before us. Isaiah 1 and 28. And the destruction of the transgressors. And what is a transgressor? One that committed sin. And what is sin? If you break the law. Uh, what law? The law of the Bible. And the sinners shall be together. Right? And the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together. And they that forsake Yahweh shall be consumed. Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles, fifteen and thirteen, that whatsoever that whosoever would not seek Yahweh, the power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So it doesn't matter who you are and what status you have upon the planet Earth, and even if you are young or whatever. But this is not specifically going into small children and great people no it's talking about that you know small uh, lower status and greater status right it's if you were king or even if you were peasant or just a common person actually because a peasant sits in the so-called noble houses and princess houses of the planet earth right now even if you watch that movie kingsman the last one 2021 the guy shows you that their ancestors was a bunch of ruthless, murderous, killers, thieves, robbers. And then they rape, rob, murder their way into the seats of the nobles and into the seats of the so-called princes of this world. And high, high established businessmen and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because like Bill Gates, he just inherited that status. You know, it wasn't... It wasn't what he built up. He didn't build up nothing from his garage or whatever. 
His father was a banker, man. They lived in a mansion. A palace, actually. Not even a mansion. Right, Psalms 11 and 5. Yahweh try it, the righteous. He's going to test you. And he's going to purify you through those tests. But the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hated. He's, there goes Esau. There goes a lot of gangbangers, man. Even though you hear a lot of gangbangers, they be saying like, man, they're telling other young ones don't come up in this uh, world because they in it and they can't get out or they're finna get smoked. <laughs> That's what you get. You know, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. But some of them at least are trying to warn the younger ones not to come up in that life because it ain't, no, it ain't all good. Either jail, dead, or yeah, that's it. Jail or dead. Right. Now it says John 9 and 31. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners. He ain't even listening to you. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh and doeth his will, him he heareth. Oh no. I mistyped here. Isaiah 13. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, sorry about this. Where is it? Is it 13? And, um, is it 13 and 9? Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it <laughs> because a lot of people think that the heavenly father hates the deed not he hates the sin not the sinner you're you're wrong so rug five and six and he say oh sorry and say not his mercy is great because a lot of people love to say god is gracious and know that that he has a lot of mercy but don't 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 keep on saying that he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. That's what you think. And pacify is like a pacifier. It's like what you put in a baby's mouth to keep him quiet. Right? So don't say his mercy is great and he will be pacified for the multitude of your sin. For mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation rested upon the sinners. His righteous anger, that's indignation. If somebody murders your mother, you have the right to be angry and seek his death. Oh, your father. But anyway, going on. Just an example. Because the wrath of men worketh not the righteousness of the Heavenly Father. That's why we don't go around butchering Edomites. You know. Sirach 7 and 16. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners. But remember that wrath will not tarry long. So it's not going to be for long for these Edomites to actually pay for what they did. It looks long unto us because you who are in the flesh... But a thousand years to the Lord is one day to the Lord. Sorry. A thousand years to us is one day to the Lord. So it hasn't been that long that Esau is ruling. Sirach 9 and 11. Envy not the glory of the sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. A lot of people, of our, a lot of our people, actually all the other people too, they glory the life of a sinner. Especially these celebrities and stuff like that. You don't know what they did to get there. And you don't know what's going to happen to them in the end. They might have so-called great lives and stuff like that. I'm going to give you an example. I like watching this thing over here because I see the stupidity and the demonic spirit and pride of these people. man. And they're drawing up on people's body and stuff. And they're very proud, man. They be, and, and this is a stupid game. But I watch it because I learn of it, the minds of people. How they think. And these people, man. Just watch this thing. Man. I just see pride. They really think that they're doing something good and great. <laughs> they're sinning. They're putting but anyway. Go on. Sirach 11 and 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners. I just almost got this. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't mean like I want to do this and stuff like that. I just look at how stupid they are. But 
the works of sinners. For example, in their laboratory, they do all these so-called miraculous things and stuff like that. They have all these fancy technology and stuff like that. A lot of our people, they love uh, the military aspect of it concerning that you know, they have a lot of power to go up in countries and do things. And then they marvel at those type of things. You shouldn't do that. You know, don't. Oh, oh wow. Because I'm not marveling at it. I'm looking at it. I'm laughing. So I'm not marveling at it. But, you know, I still I still want to cut myself uh, because I'll be like, I'll click on it. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> I just, like I said, watch the mentality and mind of these people. You know, and then you see the, and they're all fighting for money, by the way. And they love fighting with each other, stabbing each other behind the back. Some real demon stuff is over there, man. Anyway, but trust in Yahweh and abide in thy labor and the work that you do. Just abide therein, in this truth. For it is an easy thing in the sight of Yahweh. On the sudden, to make a poor man rich. And he's going to make us rich. It's nothing for him. All of a sudden you're rich. One day you're poor, one day you're rich. Boom. And he's going to do that because we are the princes of the planet Earth. Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah. Um, Ecclesiastes where it says, uh, I think it was seven or something. It says that then a princess has horse upon horses. Let me see where it is. A princess on horses. Uh, sorry, princess. Uh, wait, let's see. Ecclesiasticus, no, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. That's us. We are the princes. Yahshua Allah means he's a prince of God. With, the, with, with Yahweh, he is a prince. Now it says here, hmm, Sirach 12 and 4, Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Yahweh Shai came to help sinners, but those sinners wanted to change. There's a difference. You have people that are truly demonic. You shouldn't help these people. Let's say a person is a demon. Hmm? But you don't know, but you just know he's a demon. Because only a demon would come and ask you some money. Hey man, you got... Uh, like this, like this. Because some people really need the money. But some demons are going to come like this. Hey man, you got, you got like a, a euro for him? Maybe, you know? And then you'd be like, what you want, food? Yeah, yeah, I want to I buy some food, you know. They come to you, tell you that they want to buy some food. And then you say, you know what? Let's go to that store over there. I'll buy you a sandwich. No, no, no. Just give, just give me the money, man. I got another place to go. I'm going to go buy the food over there. You already know what he's trying to do. He's trying to use you to destroy himself. You, ain't, you don't help people like that, man. And neither do you help another person that, they say he ain't no junkie. When he wanted, he just needs some five euros for a train ticket. But that train ticket is going to help him to get to a place where he could go commit adultery with another man's wife, <laughs> for example. <laughs> you don't help people like that, man. Why would you do that? Let him get there on his own. At least you wiped your hands clean like, I didn't help you go sleep with that man's wife. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think you're doing? You shouldn't help everybody. That's the point. Especially in that unknown sinner. You're like, you know he's a demon. Five. Do well unto him that is lowly. But yeah, I just said that. You know? But give not to the ungodly. There's a difference. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. For Yahweh hated sinners. There it goes. And this is the Old Testament, by the way, because they took these 14 books out of the, the King James Bible and then put it in the Apocrypha, which is sent away hidden. Apa, like apostle, is sent. Krypha, crypt, is uh, hidden, like encrypted files on your PC. They encrypt it. That means they're hidden from the sight, from your eyesight, right? And will we pay? So, for the most I hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. Give unto the good 
and help not a sinner, not, not help not the sinner. One of the other reasons why he took away the book of Sirach, all the 14 books, but the book of Sirach, Wisdom of Solomon, is that these books teach you stuff, man. Well, I, I, I didn't know that, you know? Now you do. Verse 14. So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who shall pity him? Hey, don't, 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 don't try to hang around with people that, especially people that uh, are very so-called prosperous in this world, doing wicked stuff. Sirach 16 and 13. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils. And the patient of the godly shall not be frustrated. And the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. So, of course, you're frustrated, actually, because you'd be like, when when, when are these devils actually going to pay for everything that they stole? I mean, they're they're escaping now. No, they're hiding. They're, they're, they're at ease now. But in full, they're not going to escape with the spoils that they stole. Look at their museums. They have stolen from every each and every single individual nation upon the planet Earth. You got the Assyrian section, you got the Native American section, you got the so-called African section, which Israelites are in there, by the way. You got all these, uh, you got uh, Elam from East India, you got, uh, you got the actual Hermetic artifacts and stuff like that, which they all stole, all of them, each and every single individual artifact that you see in the museums, they stole it. That's just one of the many spoils. That they have and we are supposed to be patient but sometimes it is frustrating because you you want to butcher them but you can't you know that the Heavenly Father needs to do his thing he needs to let them build up their sins unto heaven and then he's going he's going to crash them so rock 20 and 9 there is a sinner that had good success and evil things I have seen them I myself have seen them Right, I'll be like, hey, I'll be like, nothing happens to this guy. Nothing happens. N nothing. And then you look at yourself. All you do is you say something. You just get a terrible dream. Like, hey, what the hell? Or you just do something and something happens to you, man. Like, for real. It's no joke. It's, it's real, man. You just do something. The, the, that same day, you, you get judged. You, what, what the fuck? Is, what, what is this, man? Hey, that's what's up. <clears throat> For the Lord chasteneth whom he loved. Because he doesn't want you to get that far. Don't get that far. Because hey, it's not good. Let him. Let him, let him do what he will. Right? And there is a game that turneth to loss. And what does that mean? Meaning that something that you do. Which is good. And which causes you to lose more. Than you put in. For example this. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So he lost everything. And Yahweh said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory in the future. So that shows you that in the future that he will, he will be here too. What does that mean? What does that represent? Reincarnation. And regeneration, generation is uh, regene, gene is gen sperm, and uh, generation is, uh, you know, you the next generation, and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next after that. And guess what? Re means to re like replay, re means back, return, replay. So when, uh, when you come back in the flesh, through the gene of, the, the gene of man, sperm, when the Son of Man shall sit on the, in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of the, uh, the, the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or land, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last. And the last shall be first. You got to think of the our people that have now a great status, so-called. They're, they're going to be last, man. Because they sold their soul. 
All you have to do is just click on one of these videos and boom, they bombard you with these recommendations, man. <laughs> you see how these devils do it? Anyway, if you watch Great Millstone videos, do they bombard you with uh, Great Millstone videos like this? All you have to do is just click one time. Right? Anyway. So, uh, yeah, Yahweh is going to give you back a thousand times and stuff like that. For the things that you lost, your job, whatever, you know, whatever, your houses. <clears throat> so, 25 and 19, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. <laughs> Let me read that again. All wickedness <laughs> is but nothing, is but little, actually, compared to the wickedness of a woman. Ah, it's your baby. <laughs> That's some freaking shit. You know? Females, I see females on, you know, have, I'm not going to stay too long on this. Just, you know, I see females, right? In video, man. This is not playing. Uh, they're having sex with a guy. And they're on the phone with their boyfriend. Hey, man, I saw dudes cry for that shit, man. I was about to like, but <laughs> I saw dudes cry. Uh, loading up his Glock for going to go kill the dude, man. You know, it's horrible. They just having sex, and then, and he start he start tapping it harder, and then she said, "What?" what? And then he said, "Hey, what are you doing?" <laughs> Nothing. What? Oh shit, man! I got angry, man, <clears throat> and I don't even know these people. But then again, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Let me read it again. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, right? Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So basically, the sinner, uh, the, the portion of a sinner shall fall upon that woman, right? But it also means that, um, I can explain the way I said it here, meaning that if you see, for example, for example, I should, I should have said, that if you see a truly evil, wicked, adulterous, materialistic, baby mama drama female, Getting guys for millions on child support, he got what he deserved. That's the point. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So basically, let the let, let she get what she deserve because she's a wicked woman. But if you with her, you get what you deserve, man. You know, Saraka forty one and five until eleven. I don't know that off the top of my dome, but I read it before I put it. So you can read it for yourself. So it says here, Isaiah. Wait, let me let me still let me still go and do that. Um, Forty-one, five until the children of sinners are abominable children. And they that are conver conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. Uh, conversant. Damn, come on, tell me what is that again. Sorry, man. I know. What was this word again? Uh, okay. Familiar. Yeah. Familiar. With or knowledgeable about something. So they that are familiar in the dwelling of the ungodly. So you... You are abominable. And also the ones that, even if your father is not a, a sinner, also the ones that are basically familiar in the dwelling of ungodly. Don't be chilling with these people, man. If you know a guy to be a sleeper of, uh, you know, uh, another man's wife, you know he fuck around. Don't don't hang around with this dude, man. There, there might come a day when he, you know, sleep with the wrong person's wife. That's, that's going to come and spray. You know? The inheritance of sinners. Children shall perish. The inheritance of sinners. Children shall perish. And their prosperity shall have a perpetual reproach. And then I read to... Uh, no, I'm going to just jump to 11. The mourning of men is about their bodies. But an ill name of sinners shall be blotted out. Bye-bye wipe out right so now what this guy was talking about is the mystery of the scriptures man it's a mysterious thing to see sorry 
It's a mysterious, the Bible is a mysterious thing. <clears throat> a lot of people just do not know nor understand what the Bible is actually really talking about. And these Edomites found out. <laughs> you know, they might not know that they are Edomites. Well, you know, when I look at this guy, eh, I don't know, man. He's, he could be, I don't know. I have no idea. I just look at him. Might be Edomite. I have no idea. But this, <laughs> this, this is Esau, man. <laughs> I just look at him. He's mixed somewhere because of his hair. That's why. You know, but this guy, pff, that's Esau to the key core. Kiko? <laughs> to the core. So it says here, the Bible is a mystery to most people upon the planet, upon this earth. Romans 16 and 25. Not to him that is of power to establish. What? Not to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. And the preaching of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. So the mystery, this gospel, is actually a secret to the majority of the people upon the planet Earth. Even to the to, to, even to the majority of the Israelites, this word is a secret. They don't they, they can't get it, and they're not gonna get it. Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, those are the ones that will enter. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Then he will profess unto me, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. A lot of them do work iniquity, man. A lot of them so-called go to church talking about, oh, I'm going to pray for you. And when you. When you get into an altercation with them, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray. Listen, a person that says that is one of the biggest demons upon this planet Earth. Why? They're lying to you right there in your face. They're just saying that just to make you feel comfortable. I'm always on my guard for a person that says that shit. I hear you say it. I'm cursing you. Why? Because you're a demon and you're a liar. You're not going to go on your knees. And then you're going to pray for me at night or wherever you are during the day. You're not going to do that. You're just saying it to actually kind of get my guard down. Like, oh, he's he, he actually loves me. No, man. I have seen superior demons say that shit. And then you see the, you see the wicked boy. You see how they, how, they, how, they, how, they, uh, how they convert with you. How they converse. That's how they talk to you, man. You know? Converse, actually, I think I said. I don't know. Converse, uh, to converse, whatever. You see how they, how they, how they, how they, how they, how they are with you. You know, you'd be like that. That's not, that's not no love, man. <laughs> Even I'm calmer than, than what I don't, because I don't want to say that. I'm not going to say shalom to you. I know you, I hate you, man. Get out of here. <laughs> but not, not, not too much, you know. I keep the hatred cool. <laughs> Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the angels with all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, which was mentioned here somewhere. Oh yeah, here. Matthew Matthew 19. Right. Here, the throne of his glory. When the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory. That was in Matthew 19. Where did I? Here, sorry. Matthew 19. And this is in Matthew 25. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and the holy angels with him, he, then he, sorry, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Matthew 25 and 31, sorry. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. So everybody's going to be separated. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. <clears throat> so this shows you that before the world was even made, as I read here somewhere too, right? Before the world was even made, there was a, there was a ready predestined to make it. 
read the other verses for yourself from safe and space <laughs> yeah because this comment is long not for me i could just read it but i mean like for the youtube uh, thing you can't put too long and here you can only put five thousand and they call it characters but uh yeah and this is way more than five thousand so yeah Verse 41, I jumped to 41. You can read the rest for yourself. It might sound confusing like I want to hide something, but read it for yourself and you will find out. Anyway, I'm going to the key point. Verse 41, then shall he say unto them, on his left hand, remember, he separated them, right? But the, all the nations. And the one he called the sheep that he put on his right hand and the goats he put on his left. And the Lord says in the book of, somewhere in Isaiah, where he says that, um, I think Isaiah 34 or something like that, or Ezekiel 34. He said that, you know what, let me. My sword shall be bathed in heaven. It shall be with the fat of goats and lambs. It was Isaiah. Isaiah 34 and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse. Wait. Yeah, here's 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness. It's going to be very prosperous and beautiful. And, will, and with the blood of lambs and goats, the two-thirds. With the, that, that's, what it, that's, what it's, uh, that's what it's filled with, the sword of the Lord. It's filled with the fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats. With the fat of kidneys, uh, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord had a sacrifice in Basra. This is all symbolic concerning like back in the days we used to sacrifice and stuff like that. And that blood would be spilled for the Lord. Well, in this case, blood will be spilled for the Lord. And it will be uh, literally and physical. And a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Yeah, going back over here. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, oh yeah, I already read that. Um, 41. Then shall he say unto them on his left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, which are his messengers. Because if you believe it or not, you have this movie called Kingsman and 2021. If you see that guy, he's actually a real magician. He's real. But they play it off as if he's fake. He's not fake, man. They could do some fake things. But the message is to charm you. And there is where they win. Because they do charm you. <laughs> they do charm. That's why the Lord said, if it be possible, they would deceive the very elect with all these miracles that they're doing. But you can't get them. Stay now with thy enchantments in the book of Isaiah. Right, so it says here, Isaiah 47 and 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment. Destruction. The loss of children and widowhood. Destruction unto these Edomites. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. Enchantments goes into charming, spell, magic, all that, that type of stuff. Basically lying also. You can, if you charm a girl... That's why they say these serial killers. There's, he was so charming. So charming. That's what the dumb bitch wants. A charming dude. Man, he gonna swingle you like the snake that he is. I don't, I'm not charming. I don't like to talk too much. You know? Uh, or unless I do a video. Then you see me talking. Or you hear me? So it says here, all the scriptures. Then I talk. Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments. <laughs> and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Wherewith thou hast labored from thy youth, Esau. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit, right? 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 If so be, thou mayest prevail, right? 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 No, you're not, man. You're going to be destroyed because it's not going to work. You can't enchant the Lord. You can't even enchant his elect. <laughs> and they're nothing. 
like the Heavenly Father said, thou worm, Jacob, we're nothing. Uh, we're nothing without the Heavenly Father. So you should put that to mind and always remember that. Like if the Lord didn't help us, who would? Nobody would. As it says it right here. Jeremiah 15 and 5. For who shall go aside? For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? No, no one. Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? They don't care. They don't care. When they see, for example, the Native Americans on, uh, on um, let me see, costumes? On, um, they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't care. They don't ask how you feel about this. Actually, they know, but they don't give a fuck because they dress up like uh, in, 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 in so-called Indians and pilgrims. Th these two are, are blood enemies of each other. Or they sexualize you like you're a bunch of bitches. And then they fuck you. It's all about porno, pornography, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That is, And it's fun to them. It's just a clown shit. Speaking of clowns. Clown costumes. And then back to, to, to us now. Well, not us like the other ones wasn't us. I mean like the so-called, you know, the southern tribes. Then they put the Afro because to them you're a clown. You're A R A on um. Let me see Afro. You know when they hit the soccer, then they do shit like this, right? Because to them you're a feast, you're a clown. But what do our females see them as? They see them as the epiphany of beauty. That's, I, I, I can't work with this shit. I would never in my life walk on the side of this motherfucking nothing. I have to cuss, sorry. If you don't like it, I would apologize, but... And I'm, and I'm and I'm gone. So now, yeah, they see them as the epiphany of beauty. But they see you as a joke. Look, look, listen. Look, look, look. You see? You see? This, I didn't even see this monkey. I'm going to call you what you actually are couple, according to them. And actually according to me too because of your mind. But anyway. So now. Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. So let me speed this video up. Now it says here, Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. There goes the sheep again. Right. He helped that woman later, which shows you that that woman was an Israelite. Or else he would have contradicted himself. Because he said to the disciples, they said, send her away. And he said, no, no, no. I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So who sent you? You should be asking, actually. John 6 and 38. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Who's that? <laughs> right. Who's that? Who sent him? It's not his own will. He, he was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, not to the world. And then he turned around and helped her. So if he was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and he was not sent to do his own will, why would he then therefore help that woman? Uh, would, would that be a contradiction? Yes, it would. But that woman is an Israelite. But he called her a dog because she was living among the other nations. <clears throat> so that's why if you are an Israelite and you have an Edomite wife, you're a, you're a mutt. And I don't like you. Neither does Yahushua. C. He did not come to do his own will, but the will of his father. Mark 4, 11. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahweh. But unto them that are without, meaning on the outside of the of the hedge, Job chapter 2, it speaks of the hedge, and Job chapter 1 speaks of the hedge, <clears throat> and Isaiah chapter 5 speak of, speaks of the hedge that the Heavenly Father has around, hey, what the hell? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> that the Heavenly Father has around his Israelites to protect them. You know, the, and the angels encamped round about them that fear the Most High. 
Right, so it says here, all these things are done in parables. Let me read it again. Mark 4 and 11. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahweh. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Those are mysteries. So in order for you to be thrown mysteries at by Yahweh Shai, that means like he wants you to not solve this riddle. And you're not going to. Parable, riddle, uh, puzzle. You're not going to get it. It's a mystery. And, well, this guy got it. <laughs> look at his face. He looked like a deer caught in a... <laughs> hmm? You know how them deers chew? It look funny as hell. But he, he knows. He knows more than the average Israelite. The children of darkness are wiser than the children of light. It, 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 it is in the scriptures, though. So a lot of these children of darkness, they're actually wiser than the children of light, believe it or not. First John 3 and 1, behold, what manner of love had what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, so behold that, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knoweth him not. So this shows you that the world don't know Yahweh. Neither do they know his son Yahweh Shai. The world does not know the sons of the Heavenly Father, and neither do they know the Heavenly Father himself also, and, and the power that we're going to get. John 17 and 9, I pray not, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Yahweh I said this, but for them which uh, thou hast given me, for they are thine. Who? Whose? So, Yahweh has been given people. By who? This is another cut for these people that say that Yahweh Shai was the Heavenly Father himself in the flesh walking upon the planet Earth. Talking to himself like he got schizo or something like that. Really? Well, I do know that uh, Samuel was talking to himself. He wasn't crazy. A lot of prophets were just talking to themselves. They were not crazy. They can hear stuff. That's why I know when people are psychotic and I see them talking to people. I know he's not talking to himself. I know he's talking to spirits. <laughs> you can't see him. I can't see him neither. He can't see him neither. Some of them actually do see him. <laughs> that's no, that's when you're really far gone. But uh, <laughs> I saw one tussle with a with a demon. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he was just fighting with a demon, and I was looking at him, and I was like, "Oh, he he's in a battle. He's in a heated discussion right about now." You know. But anyway, so <laughs> he's in a heated discussion for his soul. <laughs> You're trying to win it back or just trying to be at peace. Actually, most of the time, they just want to be at peace. But they hear constantly a voice. You know, and it's mo some, sometimes it's multiple. I pray for them that for the world. Verse 10. And all mine are thine. Whose? The Heavenly Father. And thine are mine of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world. But these, the, the men that thou hast given him, that thou hast given Yahweh Shai, the, the men that Yahweh has given Yahweh Shai, but these are in the world. Yeah, we're here. Oh, well, I hope I'll be one of those men. Even the birds is, wah, wah, you wah. okay. And I come to thee, Holy Father. And he went. Holy Father, keep through thine own name, Yahweh, those whom thou hast given me, Yahweh Shai that they may be one as we are one. So this, this is another scripture that you can, uh, according to John chapter 10, where it says that I am the Father, are one. Well, then that would then mean that we, or, or at least uh, the ones that are in the world and are given unto Yahweh Shai by Yahweh, they are one too. Amos chapter 3 says, can two walk together except they be agreed? No, they can't. You can't walk with a person that is the opposite of you. It's not going to work out. It's going to clash. Most of the time that happens with relationships. You come up in a relationship with a female that in the end you don't like or she definitely don't like you. That's why most of these females are single. That's why they're single. Why? Because no one wants to be around them and they don't want to be around no one for a long period of time. She could be the, one of the more beautiful chicks that you have ever seen in your life. 
hang around her for like two, three, four, five, six years. You gonna hate this demon. You gonna hate this demon. You gonna hate her. You gonna want to kill her. And she hates you too, right? Verse twelve. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in Thy name. Those that Thou gave us me, I kept, and none of them was lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. The son of perdition is Esau. And basically, if you follow after Esau's ways, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of him ye will do. He was a liar from the beginning. He was lying and a murderer from the beginning. Uh, something like that. So you're going to follow after Esau. You're, hey, he's your daddy. Right? 13. And now come I to thee. So Yahweh Shai went to the father. And these things speak I, uh, what? And these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray that thou shouldest take no no whoa, whoa, whoa. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, meaning killing them but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil of the world. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So, what this guy is actually saying is correct, but we already knew that. But now, we will see how many people will start turning once they get a sniff of this video. They're going to look just like this guy here. Huh? I, I didn't know that. You know, like a deer. Caught in the headlight. He's just staring at you like, oh, what is this? He doesn't know what's going on. And if he keeps on standing there, bah, 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 you're dead. That's what's going to happen to a lot of Israelites, by the way. And to the heathen nations, it doesn't matter what you do, man. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not. Bye-bye. Isaiah, uh, Ephesians 1 and 9. Having made known unto you the mysteries of his will... Whose will? Heavenly Father. According to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself. Well, in this case, it's Yahweh Shai. But it goes back to Yahweh because he's the one that sent Yahweh Shai to do his will and not Yahweh Shai his own will. Right? Uh, that doesn't take away that he has the power over anything and everything. Don't get me wrong because I said it like that. I'm just saying, according to the Heavenly Father, he doesn't have power except it be given unto Yahweh Shai by the Father as he said it himself. Mm. Where is it? John 19? Yeah. John 19 and 10. Then said Pilate, saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? <laughs> Yahweh Shai answered, <laughs> Thou couldst have no power at me, <laughs> but thou should have. Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except it were given from. Uh, sorry, it will. It would given thee from above. There he goes again, referencing his father. Therefore, he that delivered me unto thee had the greatest sin. Ooh. Right, they're gonna pay even more. Right, so it says here. Ephesians 3 and 3. How that, by how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. As I wrote afore in a few words. In few words. Whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Yahweh Shai. Is it, there's a whole gospel. It's a mystery. And this guy find out, found out. And he too. And not just these two. There's more people that found out. You know. So it says here, Ephesians 3 and 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world had been hid in Yahweh, who created all things by Yahweh Shai. Everything that you see, hear, and cannot even see, nor hear, or smell, or cannot smell, uh, what else? What else? Just anything and everything that you can. Oh yeah, your thought process. Uh, that too. 
is created by Yahweh Shai. But who told him? The Most High. He told him, go do that. Man, that's, man, that's power, man. That's his real power. You know, he gave you the ability to think. <laughs> Ooh, and yet, yet a lot of people want to fight against the Lord. Anyway, Ephesians 5 and 32. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Yahweh Shai and the church. But it is a great mystery. That's the point. Ephesians 6 and 19. And for me, the utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. What is the gospel? Good news. What gospel is it talking about? The scriptures. The scriptural gospel. And what is it? A mystery. Colossians 1 and 26. Even the mystery which thou, oh sorry, which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. We're going to, in the end time, we're going to know what's real and what's not. And the scripture says, he maketh his tongue to fall upon himself. So the Edomites, they're going to know too. But unto what he even knows. The guy, this guy, just listen to him, you know. He even knows. Like certain people, you can do whatever you want to do. You're not getting in. To whom Yahweh made no, make known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is, uh, sorry, which is Yahweh Shai in you, the hope of glory. These Gentiles is talking about Israelite foreigners among the Gentiles. John 7 and 38, if I'm correct. It says it. Colossians 2 and 2. That their heart might be com comforted, being knit together in love, just like how you braid a sweater, knit a sweater. And unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the Heavenly Father, to, to, to the power, and of the Father, he's, the, he's God and the Father, and of Yahweh Shai. Right? The mystery of Yahweh is his word. And he is even mysterious to the rest of the world. And so is Yahweh Shai mysterious. And also the gospel that came through Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Even that gospel is a mystery unto the rest of the world. Colossians 4 and 3. With all praying also for us, that Yahweh would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Yahweh Shai, for which I am also in bonds. So we're tied unto this, unto this word. It's not something that you should want to be loosed from. Right? We have given the utterance like that we can speak and have the knowledge to the power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to speak of the mystery of Yahweh Shai. One of those mysteries are the Gentiles, that they can make it. Because all the other people, this is how they scream. This is how they put their face when you speak of Yahweh Basham Yahshua only came for the Israelites. This is how they put their face. <laughs> or this. Yeah. They go berserk nuts. They want to fight. Then you got to you gotta mule them like a dog. I don't know how you call it in English, but you got to put a, a mouth around his mouth like a dog. So that they don't bite you. That's what it says in the scriptures. Give not thy swirl, uh, pearls on the swine and dogs. For they will turn around and rent you. They'll bite you man. Because <laughs> they're beasts. <laughs> right. Second Thessalonians 2 and 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. So it's already here. Only he now let it will let. Let them be. Until he be taken out of the way. Until the time comes for them to be exterminated. Here is the rest. Right? Verse 8. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, through his prophets, through his words, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Hey, what the? Sorry. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And 
it's so it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing because do you see that the um, Christian channels are being uh, taken away? <laughs> even if we don't cuss, even if we don't say evil things, whatever, evil things go according to them. You gotta understand, their heroes are enemies. So when they speak glory, glor glorified or glorification type or over, let me see that guy, uh, Christopher Columbus and stuff like that, and custard, and you know all these devils, all these devils. You know, and, uh, Alfred, Alfred Kinsey. When they <laughs> look up, look up Alfred Kinsey. Let me Google Alfred Kinsey. Ah, here goes another one, another devil. All right, this one. Prince Andrew definitely not being suspect and all that. And I typed in, what you gonna do about it? You useless eaters. You can do nothing against these people. Only uh, these people that openly and knowingly do things to children sexually. And yet, y'all laugh and joke. Y'all joke and laugh. This is why I say the Caucasian is the devil. But they took away that. <laughs> they took away that comment. <laughs> Ah, 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 they took away that comment, so it's funny, right? So it says here, Alfred. Um, what was it? Uh, Alfred, uh, Al Alfred, Kin Kinsey. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Just, uh, just type his name in. Oh, a sex researcher. Okay, and then he went to children. Scale of sexuality. Man, if you see these things, you'd be like, and and this is the guy that they glorify. History hyenas. Hugh Hefner. Where'd you think Hugh Hefner came up with that porno thing that he got going on? Huh? Yo, these, these people are gr greatly satanic. What, what, what? This is sodomite history also with him. Man, he was doing things to children that I can't even speak or else they're gonna... They're gonna flag my video talking about I am a child predator. I had that. I was talking about dead child predatorial behavior, and the guy, these devils, they slapped me <laughs> with a uh, with a strike talking about I'm endangering children while I was talking about them, them doing these things. You see how they work? They don't even want you to expose them like that because it hurts them, man. Children. Sex education. And the war on children. <laughs> Comprehensive sexuality education agenda. Yeah, and it all a sex sexual sabotage. Now this 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 one knows. I th I, th I think I remember her. Normalizing perversion. Ooh, this one. The man who perverted sex, Ed. Ed, no, 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 he created it. What do you mean he perverted it? What are you talking about? He is perverse. Perverse means in a, a backwards, like unnormal. When you look at a girl that's dressed like a whore, and she calls you, oh, you're a pervert, you're looking at my nakedness. No, you're a pervert for wearing that. I'm actually doing what's normal, which is look. Which, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. Don't give these bitches validation or whatever. Is they gonna feel their head is gonna grow. Yeah, so and I'm going back to over here. Oh, yeah, I was here. Right, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. They're lying to you, man. And it's wondrous. You'd be like, wow, look at that. But that's why the Lord said, envy and marvel not at the so called beauty of the wicked. You know, because the, the, Babylon is a, is a, is in the cup is in the Lord's hand, is a so-called beautiful cup. Everybody wants to join in with it, but if you really check out the dregs of that cup, the least, I mean the the bottom side where all the filth is. Well, in this case, in, in this case, it's filth. But if you have an actual bottle of beer, on the bottom you will have that thing that you don't want to drink. That one, that's Esau. That's what you're gonna get. You see, when you're drinking the rest of the bottle, it's all good because it makes you feel high, iry and stuff like that. It makes you feel good. Until you get to the bottom, you'd be like, oh. you won't throw it up, man, because it's not good. That's Esau's ways, philosophies, and mannerisms. You think it's good. It's not good for you. It looks good, but it's not good. 
and with all deceivable what deceivableness deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved you're you're receiving a lie and therefore you will die because of that lie that Esau fed you he's the son of perdition but now the same people they turn around and tell you the truth and then this guy had a quote who's his name again he said that um, uh, deceiving the people what was it again There was a quote that said that um, <laughs> this one is good too, but I'm not looking for that one. It's harder. Oh yeah, this one. This doofus, this this devil said it. It is easier to fool people than to convince them that they are they have been fooled. You might not think that is real, but that's, it's very real, man. You know, you could trick him. And then you need to untrick him. You will see what type of struggle you're going to be in. <laughs> you're really going to be in a fight. Might even turn physical. That's why the Lord said, don't give these beasts, these beast Israelites, don't give them your pearls. Those swine as dog ass Israelites. Don't give them, don't, don't talk to them. You should scan them and kind of know who you're talking to. Maybe told them, no, don't even told them one pearl. Told them a bone. See if they bite. <laughs> or told them some rotten tomatoes. See if they gobble it up. And if they do, then you leave them. But if they throw it back, right back in your face, then you'd be like, oh, I think, I think you're ready for them pearls then. For example, you don't know what type of people they are, so you might say like, uh, "Let me let me try to figure something out." Um, hey man, these girls nowadays they act like a bunch of men. Okay, you just throw them a bone, right? Or or a rotten tomato. It depends on what type of beasts they are. Are they some dogs or some swines? <laughs> right. Hey man, these females are like the manly nowadays. Yeah man, I hate these type of bitches. Okay, then you know, okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, you 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 good, you good. You just throw them a bone, see what happens. And then he throw it right back, you know what I'm saying? But then, um, uh, or or he ate it. I don't know how you want to classify it, but let's say you say the same thing. Hey man, these, these females nowadays they act like a bunch of men, like they're strong. So, well, they can be whatever they want to be. If, <laughs> if you hear that, <laughs> you should know. Like, mm -mm, don't talk to this fool. He's he's the type that won't go go battle you. So don't do it. First Timothy is three and nine, holding the mystery of the faith in pure conscience. There goes the mystery of the faith again. Right. First Timothy is chapter three and sixteen, same chapter. And without controversy, uh, controversy, great in the mystery of godliness, Yahweh was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles by men believed on in the world by the elect received up into glory by our basham yashai right uh, yeah that's it so uh, with that i'm gonna say on you know, a by the way remember the mysteries of the scriptures that this is how the majority of the israelites will look once they find out hmm? so with that i'm gonna say shalom.